Your task is not to seek for love, but merely to seek and find all the barriers within yourself that you have built against it and embrace them. Rumi. As you practice the powerful approach I'm going to share with you in this video, you will notice a greater sense of inner peace and calm, even in challenging situations, increased emotional resilience and ability to handle stress, more clarity and focus in your daily life as uncomfortable bodily sensations and physical tensions dissipate, improved relationships as you become less reactive and more responsive, greater access to your creativity and intuition, increased energy and vitality as you release emotional blockages, a natural shift towards more positive thought patterns, a deeper sense of presence with life, a greater ability to take empowered action unburdened by past emotional weight, and a growing sense of compassion for yourself and others. All these are the benefits of facing and releasing uncomfortable emotions. First, I'm going to share with you a brief explanation of how and why emotions and reactions take over and cause suffering, which will help you understand what's actually happening and how to avoid that trap. It will also give you the context needed to understand and practice what I'll share with you right after, which will be a guided exercise to release uncomfortable emotions step by step and experience the relief, peace and other benefits of doing so. So on with the explanation and then the guidance. When uncomfortable emotions arise, here's what's happening. Firstly, your nervous system perceives a threat. It could be from an immediate event in your environment, a memory or mental image in the mind, or from ongoing stress or unresolved past experiences. Let's take an immediate event for example. It could be anything from a genuine threat to someone cutting you off in traffic or a critical comment from a loved one. It could be reacting to something that's far less threatening or isn't actually a threat at all, yet our nervous system perceives it as such and activates the fight, flight, freeze response. It often doesn't take much for us to feel personally slighted, does it? Sometimes it only takes one or two words out of someone's mouth and you're feeling the anger, the rage, or the heart racing anxiety. This threat perception triggers the activation of a survival response in your body and mind and an uncomfortable physical sensation arises in the body area. It could be tightness or heat in the chest or solar plexus area. It could be tension or contraction in the shoulders or face or a range of bodily sensations. In the case of triggering events, these energy sensations can arise and start peaking almost immediately. And in a split second, your brain scans its database of past experiences looking for a similar situation, trying to find a survival strategy that seemed to work before. Once it finds a match, your brain activates the same thoughts, emotions and behaviours from that past experience. All this happens automatically and you can often only become aware, consciously aware of it, after the emotional energy eventually subsides and you think, where the hell was I? Something just took over. Even though intellectually, in your mind, you may have moved past these old ways of emoting and reacting long ago, your nervous system is activated by a deeper part of the brain where emotional memories and associations reside. This emotional energy activation appears in awareness as real, physically felt sensations in the body area and it immediately starts fueling an intense personal thought narrative that also appears in this awareness. If you don't recognize your true nature as the awareness itself, there can be a tendency to avoid feeling the physical sensations and to identify with the thought narrative, believing it to be you. For example, you may act out of anger, saying or doing things that are disproportionate to the situation, or you may act out anxious avoidance tendencies and sit there trying to manage the chaotic thoughts whirling through your mind. In this reactive state, you're not responding to what's actually happening in the present moment. Instead, you're reacting to a memory which may or may not be relevant to your current situation. And 
Each time you react this way, you reinforce these neural pathways, making it more likely that you'll react similarly in the future. In summary, uncomfortable emotions arise when your nervous system perceives a threat, triggering automatic thoughts and reactions based on past experiences. This process appears in awareness as physical sensations in the body and intense thought patterns. Unconsciously identifying with these thought patterns can have you act out dysfunctional behaviors and create more suffering for yourself and others. So let's do a guided approach to help you release uncomfortable emotions step by step so you can begin the end of reactive patterns and start feeling calmer, less triggered and more able to respond objectively, rationally, wisely and compassionately. You can leave your eyes open or close them at any point during this process. Because this is YouTube content and not a long meditative guidance, this time I'll be going through the process quite quickly. But if you like, you can pause the video during my pauses to give yourself time to go deeper into the experience. Firstly, in order to fully process and release uncomfortable emotions, we must cultivate a sense of inner safety. This inner safety or resource can come from many places, including remembering a time or imagining a place where you feel safe, or finding a calmer, more grounded feeling place in your body, or even a connection to divinity. The deepest sense of inner safety comes from the recognition of our true nature as awareness, and that our true self cannot be harmed by these uncomfortable feelings. So, can you notice right now that you're aware? Can you notice that you simply are, that you're simply present? Go beyond thinking or trying to understand it. Just simply zoom your attention right out to see the full view. Can you notice yourself as this wide open space of awareness in which everything is appearing? Now, would you agree that there are thoughts effortlessly arising in this awareness? Would you agree that there are feelings, physical sensations, effortlessly arising in this awareness? The mind may label these sensations as energetic sensations, tightness or tension, but can you get underneath all the labels for a moment and experience the raw physically felt sensations, like islands of sensation floating in midair. Now ask yourself the question, can any of these sensations, however intense, harm my true self awareness? Or do they come and go in this awareness, leaving no trace, with awareness completely unharmed? Can any thought, however intense, harm my true self, awareness? Or do thoughts come and go in awareness, leaving no trace, with awareness completely undisturbed? Notice that thoughts and feelings, and in fact all experiences, come and go, never staining your true nature, this aware presence that you are. You are always present as the ground of being, and you are safe to experience these thoughts and feelings. You can also experience them in manageable parts, pendulum swinging between uncomfortable sensations and feelings of calm and safety. So with this in mind, notice yourself as the wide open aware presence that you are. And I invite you to bring to mind or imagination a triggering thought, image, or memory, or something that you anticipate will trigger stress, anxiety, or frustration. It could be an event, a person, and what they said or did, or something you feel fear around happening. You can start with something small, if it feels better, but simply allow your mind or imagination to bring up something related to uncomfortable emotions. Now as you do this, 
Stay aware of yourself as the aware presence and pay close attention to what's happening in the feeling sense of the body. Can you notice a change in the bodily sensations? You may feel that the sensation gets a little stronger, a little more activated, perhaps a further tightening or contraction, or a feeling of intensifying energetic sensations. Just simply stay with the raw physical sensations and allow yourself to feel them. Can you notice that the space of awareness that you are naturally allows these feelings to exist and move without resistance. Notice any thoughts and images that are arising around this situation. Notice that there is a character in those thoughts, a me that you could take yourself to be. For a moment, refrain from identifying with the me in the thinking, and instead, just watch the thoughts and images go by like a movie, non-judgmentally. Keep staying conscious of the sensations, watch them and track them if they begin to move through the body. This may feel temporarily uncomfortable, but you can begin to feel the sensations even more by welcoming them and allowing them, by noticing yourself as the welcoming and allowing space, opening up your posture and breathing into the sensations and then breathing out with a long extended exhale. And you can drive your attention into the sensations and allow them to intensify, tighten, expand or shift. Just notice what's happening. Now, let's switch it up. Can you notice the space around the sensations? Can you feel into the body and feel for any more spacious, grounded, neutral or even positive sensations? or just simply the space around the sensations. Zoom out and notice yourself as the wide open space of awareness around the sensations and relax into any more neutral, calm or positive feelings. Whilst you relax into this, can you notice if the thoughts have changed? Can you notice the silence underneath the thoughts? Can you notice any intuitions or more expansive ideas or perspectives arising from the inner spaciousness and silence? And can you allow yourself to relax into this openness, this spaciousness even more? Now notice the bodily sensations again. Can you notice a change? You may notice a subtle shift, but perhaps you may notice a big difference, or at least the start of something moving and releasing. You can spend more time pendulum swinging, pendulating between the more dense feelings, uncomfortable sensations, and the more neutral, spacious or positive sensations. This will begin to get your nervous system unstuck from being in one state and allow you to process these feelings in small manageable amounts. If you feel enough inner safety or resource, you can plunge into the feelings, driving your attention into them and allowing them to intensify for long periods until they eventually shift and expand and dissipate. This is, of course, a brief, simplified version of the process, although it's the essentials and the foundation and extremely powerful in its own right. This approach can be used in the moment of an emotional triggering, 
awe on chronic, uncomfortable feelings that linger in the background. Sometimes deeper emotional wounds may need a deeper, more nuanced approach to fully bring to consciousness within safety, process and release. And sometimes it may take a bit of time to work through all the layers and fully release these contracted emotions. This is why I engaged with healing guidance from someone else along my journey and why I deliver emotional releasing sessions to my clients to help them shift, heal and embody freedom. There are incredible gifts that come from releasing old emotions, which are aspects of your true nature already, just sometimes seemingly covered up by old limiting thoughts and feelings. Releasing allows the freedom of who you really are to be deeply felt in the body and expressed through courageous and compassionate action. The gifts come in stages. You wouldn't want them all at once. Most of us have had a lifetime of conditioning that can be slowly unwound in the recognition of who we truly are. Don't rush your healing and releasing journey. Be patient. It may not all come instantly, but you will discover that by consciously applying this powerful process and relaxing into your true nature, awareness, the relief and the gifts will come. For one-on-one -on -one coaching inquiries, go to speaktoalex.com. See you in the next video. Peace.